I'm really into that. I'm very excited. Let's get let's get it going. Hiya. How are you, Dart? Good. I'm glad to hear that. You got a plan for the evening? I'm riding my bicycle into town. Is that a 10 speed or? Three speed, fixed gear. BMX, mountain bike, or tricycle. It's an 11 speed, I'm in Canada. What speed do you usually ride in? Uh, keep it in ninth, ninth speed.
You know, I came into some money uh, recently. Unexpectedly. It's really exciting. Well, I didn't know what to buy, but uh, I bought some tarot cards. You know, you know what those are. They used to call me back in high school, Seven of Swords. Why'd they call you that? I'm being held against my will. Well, I'll tell you what would, might help with that is if we read your, uh, if we do a tear out reading. But let's, let's do that later. I'm really into that. I'm very excited. Let's get let's get it going. Okay. I'm going to shuffle the deck. While I do this, I want you to think about decisions that you might be facing in the immediate future and things that you'd like to know about yourself, about, about the future. It's awfully stiff. They're not really like playing cards. They're, they're bigger. They're stiffer. That's the thing I think our listeners might want to know about Tarot cards. What we're going to do here is a single card reading. I'm not going to look, I'm just going to pick a card at random. We have drawn. The Magician. So I don't really know what that means. Because I, I just got these. I don't know anything about it. But I have a website. I can go to and here's what it says. The Magician 
is about making higher and better use of all one's power, spiritual, emotional, and otherwise. This is another card that often signifies beginnings and great expectations. This is a very powerful, positive omen in a reading. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the greater world if we simply make it a point to try. You may notice synchronicities which point towards deep spiritual events taking place regardless of the quote-unquote importance of their superficial appearances. You should be finding that you have the knowledge, strength, and inspiration needed to meet your challenges. In general, this is a very very positive time for you. Uh, there, there's some other things. I mean, there's uh, work or love. W what are you interested in right now? Maybe I could just read that one, like work or love or finances or health or spirituality. My captivity. Let's, let's call that work. There will be an improvement in your work slash career life. This points to an excellent time to find new work or to ask for and receive a promotion in your current job if that is possible. Oh, particularly if your work is, a, is in a creative field, this is a time when your suggestions and work will be met with excellent comprehension and may lead you to, quote, bigger and better things, unquote. Does that help you at all? I'll ask for a promotion. That sounds um, sounds wise. Self-employed, though. So. Well, I'll ask myself. I'll, t I'll tell you what happens. I think that sounds like a uh, pretty a pretty good plan. The maid came today. Would you mind if I guessed her name? If you can do so inoffensively. Tell me when I should start guessing. Begin.
Was it Bergeek? That's not it. No. Try again. She's Mexican. If that helps. Little hint. Was it Tatiana? Does end with an A. But you know how I like to help people out. Mm-hmm. Well, I gave her a $10 tip. She was so happy. But, you know, I came into some money not long ago when my cousin died. He had that cancer, the elbow cancer. He died. He left everything to me. And so I like to, I like to help people. What does she wear? I don't I don't think that's appropriate. I did ask her if, if Mexico was going to pay for the wall. She said, no, no, Mr. Meester. I don't have money. And I said, not, not you, personally. I, I did her a tarot card, and I, I came up with, uh, well... It was death, but I drew again before she saw, because I didn't want to scare her. And she got the uh, the tower, which is also kind of scary. I don't know what it is, but it looks scary. So, I gave her a tip. Is she still there? Yeah, she's right here. She's mopping. Why don't you put her on? Mm. Maybe later. I want her to finish mopping the floor. She didn't do it right the first two times. And so... 
she's been here since 8 a.m. It's going on 12 hours. She just doesn't do most of these things right. But I like to help people out. My feet hurt. I have a secret for you. I have been figuring this out lately. I think it really works a lot. It really is effective. It's a trick for picking up women. I've been picking up a lot of women with it lately. You back to women? I'm sorry. Go ahead with the tip the trick or whatever it is this time. I've distilled it down to one word. As you do. Tell me when you're ready. Oh shit, I drew the Queen of Cups again. Yeah, go ahead. Grievance. I think you should tell our viewers how to put that into practice. Just walk up to someone and say, my feet hurt. How does that usually play out? I mean, I'm just doing my job as a journalist. We need, we need more. What about my captivity? How's the lawsuit going? Pretty good. Are you mostly just picking up people that are held captive in the house with you? Can I be honest? Yeah.
all of my writings and my findings in the field of attraction can't wait to hear how this wraps up. Or still mostly theoretical. You haven't actually attracted any females is what you're telling us. I have a game for you. All right. Thus saith the whole congregation of the Lord, what trespass is this that ye have committed against the God of Israel to turn away this day from following the Lord? in that ye have builded you an altar, that ye might rebel this day against the Lord. Is the iniquity of Peor too little for us, from which we are not cleansed until this day, although there was a plague in the congregation of the Lord? You happen to, I mean, did, have you been reading my journal or, that? I mean, that is my favorite passage from the Bible. How do you know, how do you do that? How do you know that? Nobody knows that. And unto the children of Gershon, of the families of the Levites, out of the other half-tribe of Manassasah, they gave Golan in Bashan with her suburbs to be a city of refuge for the slayer, and Baestahra with her suburbs two cities. Now you moved out to the suburbs not long ago, didn't you? That's right. You got a garden? Have I told you I'm in Vietnam? I thought you were in Canada. They move me. Well, north or south? I can't see outside, so I'm just... And your dad was a, a draft dodger? Drafted the Dodge the year you were born, I believe. True or false? That's called slander. Uh, 
dart. Daddy served in the Pennsylvania Coast Guard. During the Vietnam War. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that's a little uh, dodgy? He kept us safe. From what? Specifically. I know we've had this argument before with my dad being an astronaut and everything. And that World War II veteran. My feet are killing me. You ought to take a seat. It was the book of Joshua. You know what I love about Tarot? It's it's the randomness of it. The the pure chance, you know. You got I don't know how many cards, a hundred. And you never know what's coming up, what it's gonna be. And then you gotta figure out what it means for your life. I think that's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. They got apps for it now. Tarot apps. Composing. I have to type a status update for Terry every hour on the hour. And Terry, quote unquote, is the person holding you captive, quote unquote.
I don't want to confirm or deny. I'd like a copy of that for the podcast website. Maybe for the show notes? Yes. Do you think that we're increasing our mind share? Oh, almost definitely. My mom listened to the last show. She really liked it. I think we ought to have a logo contest for the uh for the show. The listeners? Right. Did she really listen? I don't know. There was not a lot of specific feedback. She said that she sometimes forgot she was listening to a podcast. Not sure what that was about in reference to. I think she probably wasn't just never hit play. What are you typing? I was typing my answers. Mm. I feel scared. Well, you know I can't help you. I'd like to... You're in Vietnam or Canada or wherever. And I'm here on the in a mansion on the beach in the United States. Enjoying enjoying a little bit of new money. Gonna open a bottle of champagne in a minute. Celebrate. Is it really champagne or sparkling wine? Excuse me. Can you knock that off? We are doing a podcast. Dart. Dart. Well, you're doing a podcast. You can't make all that racket. You're going to chase off every listener we got with that racket. Uh, now, I don't know if there, I don't think there's a difference between champagne and sparkling wine. Do you know otherwise? When I became a master sommelier, I wept.
Does it have something to do with the terroir of your particular favorite wine? It's funny you say that. Thank you. When I was in wine school, they used to call me Tubby Terroir because I was a jolly little guy. If you had to describe your, your climate, your soil, your terrain, your tradition of uh, your particular childhood, your flora, your elevation, your slope. What would that, what would that look like? Arid. Sure. Chubby mouthfeel. I think we can all feel that in this conversation. Okay. Mm. Steel tanks. What cheese would you recommend with your personality? Or cheeses. I like some of that Archer Farms cheese that uh, Zach Goldstein serves. Our old grad school, buddy. Archer Farms Gouda. I think it's pronounced Gouda. My back aches. Well, take a Tylenol. They got you standing 24-7 there. You know, when John McCain was in captivity in Vietnam? Oh, goodness. Did you hear all that? I had an ad pop up on me. Well, listen, when John McCain was uh, in captivity in Vietnam... I don't remember the details, but I think he was tortured and and he could have gone home any time he wanted. As could you, I think. Though you won't admit it. He did what was best for his country. And I know your dad's a da a draft a a, da a, a dodger death draft dodger. But I don't mean you got to be a hero to make up, to compensate. So, think about John McCain.
Think about the magician we pulled out of this tarot card earlier. This deck. And what that means for you. The promotion you could ask for. I just think you ought to give it some thought. I've said my piece. So. I also think you should wonder or think about what what is the terroir of captivity in Vietnam and and how does that uh, influence who you will become because not everybody gets to experience that particular terroir Drunk. I feel like I could really open up to you. Someday, my fingers hurt. You bitching or complaining? By the way, I talked to uh, Molly Ringwald, and she's dropping the charges about the stalking and all that. She's just going to drop them for now, and the, the, the tickle attack. I know I shouldn't be talking about this on the podcast, but we don't ever talk outside of the podcast, so I thought I'd just go ahead and say it. Maybe we'll just edit it out later. Get the editor. I got a Filipino I hired at uh, 40, 40 cents an hour to edit the podcast. She she speaks some English. She's been answering my calls and answering my emails. So... ordering my groceries. I had her order groceries the other day and I said just order anything and send me the recipes and and I said but just I want I do want some almonds and I I will tell you this I got the biggest container of almonds I've ever seen in my life. I, there must be 50 pounds of almonds in this container. They delivered it on a pallet. And I don't know what I'm going to do with all those almonds, but they are good. I'll send you some. I think maybe in, in, in Filip, Filipino, Filipino language, 50 pounds is like maybe like five ounces. I don't know. I don't know. You think they could come over and bust me out of here? The Filipinos? I 
hard to say. I got a new saying lately. You know, I combine two sayings. One of them is life is hard, and the other one is hard to say. And when you combine them, you get life is hard to say. What do you think about that? I'm scared for my life. Ah. Think positive. Follow your breath. You do you yoga? Can I be frank? Yeah. The room I'm in isn't big enough for yoga. I could maybe do mountain pose. You just think small. I mean, just, you need to, you need to relax. You need to stop thinking about your problems all the time, complaining all the time. You're just, you're so negative. It's hard to talk to you sometimes. So negative. There are bigger concerns than your captivity. Have you heard about global warming? Have you heard about the... the the child sex trade. You heard about uh, oil spills, astronauts, and all that. I mean, have you heard about this stuff? Only one in the world. Where can I, if I wanted to send you a check, where could I send that to? What, what's the, uh, just give me a mailing address. I'm on Instagram. Mm. What's your uh, username? It's at against my will. At against my will. In case you didn't get that.
one too many uh, modifiers in there. for the next tarot reading. Shuffled. Ready. Can't wait. Well, you think we've uh, accomplished it? Great podcast. I think it's going to be really big. Get some advertisers, some I think maybe Blue Apron will be interested. Do you do you use them? Blue Apron. I'll send it to your Instagram. Lovely ocean out there today. Out the window. Vast, blue, slightly treacherous. Gulfs, crashing waves, big sky. Do they deliver to Vietnam? I'm sure they do. They're, you know, it's they're internet. They're international. Or Canada? I, it's harder to say. You don't know where you're at, do you? Just be honest. Do you mean that figuratively? I mean that literally. It's at against my will with two underscores and three L's. All the other against my wills were taken. A lot of people in captivity on Instagram. Can I gram you? Gram me? Gram it up. Well, should I should I activate the chime? Or do you have more to say? Just one more thing. Okay.
Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, bye-bye. Talk to you later, Dark. Why's everybody so down? On Eve When it was Isaac Newton who called The apple from the tree Why's everybody blaming me? For that fracture in your heart When we all can see that you played a little part, baby, it's okay. A scapegoat call in today, so we'll just draw a little stick man and make him pay for all our sins. What's got you so upset? About Charlton Heston You know that Charles Darwin wrote The planet of the apes Why are you punishing me? Is it just to teach me a little lesson? Can we just agree? That it comes a little late, baby, it's okay. A scapegoat called in anyway. We'll just draw a little stick man and make him pay for all our sins. Do you believe that Galileo ordered the Chaoses of heaven any more than Elvis Presley invented sex or its repression. Why does everybody blame me for this accidental weapon? Well, I was not there, darling. Sessions, but it's okay. Our scapegoat called in today. We'll just draw a little stick man and make him pay for all our sins. It's alright. Our scapegoat called in today. Let's just draw a little stick man and make him pay for all our sins so we can do it all again.